Okay, folks, so a uh, couple people ask, I have these videos before, but I want to show you in a little different way of how to do a simple handle shaping. The, the simple, just nice and round and rounded, we're going to do just the finger choil. It's going to be only the one thing that's different, but the rest I'll show you how it is and how I came up with a nice way to do it on the belt grinders. Pretty much every single belt grinder has some kind of contact wheel. And uh, the way I do it is here, and I'm gonna give you see, the look as I'm looking at it, like pretty much what I see, because that's gonna be the best perspective. You see, there's a bottom wheel, bottom contact wheel on my Grizzly, and uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing most of my stuff. Now, this is this is what you end up with pretty much most of the time when you when you glue the handles on. You know, you have pins sticking out, you have the epoxy all around this you have to do before you glue the handles the front portion so this is pretty you know straightforward i mean if you don't know how to do this <laughs> i have tutorials also where i was showing you know how to drill it how you hold you how there's many ways how to hold the scales on when you're drilling the holes and stuff like that so we're gonna do this one uh, it's gonna be loud it's gonna be dusty so and i won't talk because i'm gonna have a mask on but uh, you should get the pretty decent idea of how it, how I do it, and uh, this is this is gonna be handled at least the, this portion of the video. I'm gonna just show you how to do the how it's how to get the nice base for the nice contouring on the corners, on the top, and on the bottom. Normally, I, I will do the finger chores later on, but this part, this video will be just to see how I clean up this and uh, how to do that nice contouring around cleaning this and everything. So I hope you enjoyed it guys and uh, let's get on with it.
Now you see, this is just the rough, the first portion of the job. If you were going just for the simple working handle without any, you know, bells and whistles or anything, this is actually, once you just do clean the, with the sanding drum, you can do this with the Dremel, you can do this with the sanding drums, there's a lot of different ways to do it. This would be the right size for this one, you know, cleaning in this and then do the do it on the angle to do the finger groove, you know, nice for the index finger. But this, once you do that, it already is a very, very comfortable functioning handle. It's super nice and round, very secure, and you see, of course, there's still a lot of work, because now I would have to do this, clean it up with the finer belt. This is still, this was 60 grit. This was brand new 60 grit, so you would want to uh, clean up with something finer and then a lot of hand finishing, you know, to smooth out the paint, smooth out the scales and everything. I really do not recommend polishing the G10 because G10 is very, very slippery. But you can see how pretty fast and pretty simple I I did really nice contouring. This one is a little different, so I would have to go back to it just to continue because I probably pulled this side not not all the way through but the, the most of it like the, the whole handle is about the same angles and uh, the nice thing about this I'm looking at it just like you are looking now from this view so you actually see exactly how it's contouring how is it going you know and right now it's actually you know it's just a bunch of flats connected together into the round but once you get the sandpaper and uh, you finish with the sandpaper it will round off all the corners so it will actually be an actual arc you know nice and round uh, you know like circle I'm always trying to do that the top has a nice big radius and it almost creates like a half, half circle that's what I found the most comfortable for my hand it might be different for different people uh, a lot of people do it differently because they like it better maybe don't know how to do it uh, differently uh, I know there are some people who, who don't do it because it is easier just to you know run it off this way one time on the angle just knock off the edge and that's it I personally don't like it but you know it's always up to the maker and up to the person uh, this is gonna be pretty sweet, this is actually the Bengali Tiger Stripe G10 which is pretty sweet, orange, black and white, I think it's nice colors definitely something else I, have, I had this one for a while and was waiting what to use it for something cool I think this is gonna be nice this actually already is very comfortable so once I knock off this finger chawl very good, comfortable, fun comfortable functioning handle of course and for me I will do the groove here, I will probably put uh, some shallow grooves here along the way I'm gonna knock off the end also of course because I like it better some knife makers actually leave the, the end flat they also leave the front flat which I actually hate I hate when you when it comes like this and then just flat I think it's just being lazy honestly I honestly believe that it's, that's just being lazy because you don't mm, because it is an extra step you have to do before you glue the handles and uh, I really believe that a lot of people who don't do it, it's just uh, laziness. There is no reason to have it there. There is no way that it has some some reason to have a, you know, sharp edge there, sharp corner. And uh, that's how I do it. And I like it that way because this way it's actually comfortable for a pinch grip also. If you have that, you know, nice ramp there with the angle, with the radius. So, hope you enjoyed it guys. Hope you found it help helpful. I know some people some people ask about it, some people are curious and I actually did come up with this way, I was doing it all different ways, you know running it on the belt like this, like a lot of people do I don't know, pretty much every belt center, even the 1x30 if you turn it around the right way you can actually get your contact wheel to be to face you it is small wheel but you can still achieve the same function of, the, of that contact wheel on the bottom that control of seeing actual the actual angle just like this you know and you pull pull it from front or you can go back and forth that just that function of seeing that exact angle on what you hold that handle on to to your belt wheel or belt center you can achieve that this this certain function with pretty much any belt sender so hope you enjoyed it guys hope you find it helpful thanks for watching take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself <laughs>